All right, guys, we're going to do a uh, mileage correction on a 2006, I believe this is, a Toyota Prius. This is the instrument cluster. I've already pulled off the main board, which is very easy to do. Just some screws here. I think there's about six screws, one, two, three, on the perimeter. And then there's going to be uh, some clips you got to push down to be able to release these um, ribbon cables. Then you can slide them out of the board. So it'd be like that. You got to make sure you have both sides released and you'll be able to slide these out of it on both sides the same way. And at that point you will be able to, oh, there should be one connector on this side. You got to just pull the little clip out and then it can come out of the connector there. And then you'll be able to pull the full board out. I went ahead and desoldered the, the actual display. It's hem, held on here, all down these right here. Um, and on this side as well, where you see the flux. And I use the desolder gun. Um, if you're going to attempt this, you definitely, I'd recommend having a desoldering gun or station. I used a simple one like this. Link will be in the description. And it works pretty well. You just basically, it's a soldering iron and it has the pump in it. So I've got the plunger pushed in and I hit this button. Once you got it up against the solder, it sticks into the little pin there. You hit it, boom, and it sucks it out. So that display sits on there, something like this. And once it's desoldered, it'll, it lifts up out of it. And you can see all the pins that are soldered onto the board, right? And our EEPROM chip is located right here, 93C66. And there's basically a gel protecting the pins of all the uh, chips here. So uh, you just have to scrape it off. I used a uh, pin. So there's what it looks like. So you can see the size of this, what I use. I'm gonna put it in a microscope. I did a review on this micro microscope. If you haven't uh, seen the review, um, you need some. If you're ever gonna work on things like this, I would highly recommend it, especially for the price point. So this is what it looks like under the microscope. And you're gonna see my pin. That same little pin you saw there, that's what it looks like under the microscope. So I just scraped it off. The glue, you can see the consistency it has. It's like a gel. All right. And then you can get to the actual pins so that you can um, connect up. Make sure you stick to the end on this one. I actually uh, went ahead. By the way, very good image quality you get out of this camera. Highly recommended it. Highly recommend it. And um, I'm going to have the pin out because... I went ahead and pinned this out and I found uh, most of the traces for the EEPROM is here so you don't even probably have to desolder it. Um, you can probably hit it from right back here. I'm going to show that to you in a bit. I went ahead and flipped the board around and we can identify pin 1 by this little dot here. That tells us that this is actually pin 1 and uh, also the chip is actually beveled. Um, so this side of the chip is actually slanted down. That also designates this, this as pin one. So that's how we know that's pin one. So we're gonna go ahead and put our clip with the uh, red um, line onto that side for pin one. We're gonna see if we can read it with the clip. All right, guys, I try to read it like this because the clip wasn't reading properly. Um, so I try to read it from my pin out that I did. I'll show that to you. But this as well is uh, not giving me a good connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the chip and solder it onto the uh, APB 129. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the chip off with hot air and I'm using this connector. As you can see, it's uh, biting down right on all the pins. As I push it in, this is what I'm doing here. Push it in and it's biting down all the pins and pin one, as you can see the number one right there. And this is the APA002. The EEPROM connector. All right, this is the way you want to angle it. You want to have the number one in this corner. As the uh, map says there, the little red dot, that's number one here. And I put that in place. Now we're gonna, so you're going to want to go under EEPROM. I'm going to go under Atmel, and it's a 93C66. EEPROM. And if you know my channel, we always go to Set. And we always make sure uh, this you don't never really need to change. Should be at 5.0. Uh, 
Uh, so we leave that one alone, but we do always go to our verifications and make sure our reading and our writing verifications is on. That's important. You want to make sure you always have a good read. It's going to read it twice or write it twice and make sure. We're going to go to read now. And now it's able to read that chip. So this is our EEPROM for the cluster. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to call it, um, and I just called it Prius Cluster. Save. Tells me the path. Okay, guys, I went ahead and transferred the file over to my PC. And this is the data that's in the file, as you saw um, from the IM608. And uh, we've got the calculator open. So we're going to go ahead and select our vehicle, which we're going to go down to Toyota. And uh, it's Prius. This is us. 2004 93c66 and then from here we're going to be able to put in our mileage in kilometers uh, that's currently what we have on this cluster so we're going to correct it at 50,000 miles which this is actually the correct number it comes to 82449 kilometers so I just filled that in there so now we're going to hit calculate and this is the value what it comes to so this is basically showing us the value of our file, what it should be. So the EE02, we're going to modify it to F112. And if you don't have this app, by the way, that means you're not subscribed to the channel. You want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're going to see my email down there in the description and shoot me an email and let me know you subscribe and send your uh, YouTube screen name to me so I can check that and I'm going to go ahead and email you uh, a link to download this thing free and make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well so we got our caps lock on and we're going to put F one one two and we repeat that to replace that um, all of the lines just like that that's the flag for the mileage then we'll, once we get to the last line number 20 we're just going to do it one time. Actually, hold on. So then that's it. Now we're going to save our file. Uh, we're going to call it um, cluster corrected. Save that. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to the IM608. Now we're back at the IM608. We're going to go to write. We're going to select our file, which is right here. Tell it OK. And it's going to write it, and now it's going to read it and verify and make sure it's correct. And it says correct. We're going to just read it back just so we can see the data that we did read. So read. And it should show us the modifications that we made to the file. And there it is, F112. So that is the corrected mileage now for this cluster. Now we're going to reposition this chip and solder it back on. We got it all soldered up and all the pins are strong. So now we're going to just clean this up and put everything back together. Okay guys, here's the pin out of the cluster. I went ahead and connected it up. So I've got two powers in the ground. By the way guys, uh, you could skip this step on moving it to the laptop. If you got a hex editor, you can just edit this uh, right on the uh, IM608 as well. All right, I'm going to power up the cluster. And there it is. See if we can get a better picture. It's a little dusty. Got to clean it when we get closer in. See if we can get a focus. And there it is. And as you can see, the mileage is actually 82 for. What happened is, um, yeah, in the app, even though it said uh, it was in kilometers, it's actually in miles. So that's incorrect. It's a bug in the app. So that's the reason why it's reflecting like that. So I'd have to go back and um, go back in there and change that. But that's it on this video, boys. Um, now you know the process. If you didn't know this, now you know it. Guess what? Knowing, knowing is half the battle, boys. Click that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe and see you on the next one.